Hey everybody and welcome back to Beauty Swirl. So today I got a special video for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you how to get rid of those grids on your lace so it can look more like skin and a natural parting. So if you wanna see how I got this look, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And let me know what you want to see next what color do you want to see me do on my hair next because i am going to be coloring this hair so leave that in the comment section below i would love to know what you guys want to see so let's go ahead and dive right in So today's hair is from Allie Pearl Hair and they sent me a full lace wig. And as you can see, it's definitely full lace. It's not like lace with the tracks. It's actually full lace so you can part it anywhere you want. You can corn roll it, anything you wanna do to it. Now this is the natural hairline. It came pre-plucked, but of course I plucked it some more because I'm just, you know, I'm just crazy like that. I like to have it very very natural and of course I've bleached the knot some of them is a little over bleached as you can see you can see it poking out but it's all good this is what you're gonna need to do to make your part as natural as possible you want to definitely bleach those knots or at least put some put some makeup on it or something you want to make sure you lighten up those knots next I'm going in with my hot comb to make sure that part stays put and is flat as possible because you don't want it to have that lifted kind of bulky look you want to make sure everything is like laying down flat and natural and yeah so that's what I did I'm gonna go in with some hairspray just to tame those flyaways just brush it down like so now here I'm just showing you how the knots look right now how the net is showing you can definitely see the net on that so my big secret is the scar away and this is a band-aid that has like a fabric -y type of top to it and all you're gonna do is go ahead and cut that in half. You can use the whole thing, but these things are so expensive. I'm gonna go ahead and just use half. And you're gonna go ahead and flip your wig upside down, peel off half of it, and you're gonna start about an inch away from the front because you don't wanna have it all the way to the top because you're gonna kinda see that the band-aid is there. So, this is how I like to apply mine. Just watch and see what I do. I can't really explain it better than I'm showing you it. So I'm just gonna keep pulling that thing off and pushing down the band-aid. And it is reusable. Just take it off whenever you're gonna wash the hair and you can put it back on. That stick lasts a long time. Now I actually like the color that it was, but I wanna show you guys that you can make it any color that you would like, I just use my foundation and I'm just blotting it onto the band-aid. And I'm just showing you guys the difference in the color. Okay, so I'm showing you guys how I apply it again because I want you to really see how that makes that part look so much more natural and it got rid of those grids instantly. I'm just pulling it up slowly. You guys see that? It's just slowly disappearing, just going away and looking so natural. I really, really love this method of getting rid of the grid on your lace wig. What do you guys think? So here is the before and after type of shot. I want you guys to see it next to each other so you can really, really see the difference and what that made. Look at that, you can see the grid there and then you don't see the grid. Of course, the color is a little bit more warm tone than I would like on the other side but we can fix that I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that very shortly but here I am with the wig on and that's what it's looking like I'm just showing you guys again a part next to the scar away part that looks nice too but I really really think that the scar away method made it pop that much more and made it look super super real and natural I really really feel that looks so much better what do you guys think so what I'm gonna do to counteract that warm tone on the part is I'm gonna go in with this uh, what is what is his name Patrick star <laughs> this is his collab with Mac I use his um, mineral powder and I'm taking a spoolie to like blend it in and push it in there and make it not look so intense so we're just blending it in to the part so again there it is back to back 
Now I'm just showing you guys a little bit of the hair. Um, that's the ombre hair. I don't really like the gradient effect that they have. I wish it was a little bit more gradient. So I wouldn't recommend wearing this hair in the straight uh, style. I would suggest you always wear it in a curly style. So I'm just going to throw some curls in there. Of course I had to use some um, heat protectant. You want to protect your hair. And I'm just throwing really quick curls into it. Nothing big. And I really, really love that curl, you guys. It has a really long um, nose on it or whatever you want to call it. Really long so it's easy to really curl the hair. So I'm going to go ahead and add some Got To Be Glue spray to it so that the curls can last a very long time. And that's what it's looking like. So I'm just going to finger through the hair to separate it, make it look, you know, nice. After that, I'm just going to brush through it because I want those nice, soft bombshell curls. So that's what I'm doing here. I really, really love how it turned out. And now I'm going to go ahead and just finger through the other side. And I wanted to com compare the two. Do you like it just fingered out like that or do you like it brushed through? I think I like both ways. I don't know. I feel like the finger through has more curls in it than the brush through. What do you guys think? I like them both though. But I'm going to go ahead and brush out the other side to match, you know, the left side. And yeah, that's about it, you guys. I'm going to just fluff it up so I can get more volume. And that's about it. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I will be coloring this hair. I don't really know what color I want to go with, so I need you guys' suggestions. Please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to know what you guys want to see. If you know of another method to get this same look, let me know. I would love to try it out for you guys. But for now, I think I'm going to go with this type of look. I really, really love the way it turned out. I think it looks super natural. And um, the only thing I didn't like is that it cost $18 for this scar away, you guys. Ridiculous. So that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Share the video, you guys. Share the love. <laughs> and please check out my latest video. And please check out what YouTube thinks that you like the most. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.